So, so you think you can tell heaven from hell. So I always thought Pink Floyd songs were out of my reach. I mean, come on, David Gilmore. He's amazing. But I'm enjoying this song and learning how to play it, and I want to show you how to play this classic Pink Floyd song, Wish You Were Here. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. Excited for this lesson, playing a little bit of Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. This is the song part of the lesson. Uh, stick around, I'll show you how to play the intro to this classic iconic rock tune as well. But before we get into that, we're going to work on the song part. The, the good news is lots of open chords in this song. Um, it is It can be a little bit of a challenge. There's some strum patterns I'll show you and some patterns that he uses in the chords that can help make this easier for you. So let's just kind of start uh, as, if the, as if the intro were ending. I'll kind of play the first verse for you. So, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From a cold steel rail smile from a veil do you think you can tell oh, so good great lyrics in this song and once you kind of get the first verse down you can just apply those two verses two and three so let's talk about the chords first you need a c chord then i play one of those in a bit you have your index finger here on the second string first fret middle finger on the fourth string second fret and your ring finger on the fifth string third fret. For a C. He plays a D chord. We'll go over that next. Index finger, third string, second fret. Middle finger, first string, second fret. And ring finger, second string, third fret. And the more I listen to this, I think he's doing a, a D with an F sharp in the bass. Sounds very Pink Floyd-y. So if you want to do that, you're going to wrap your thumb around to the 6th string and fret it on the 2nd uh, fret. So you have that bass note in there. Then he has an A minor, index finger 2nd string 1st fret, middle finger 4th string 2nd fret, and ring finger 3rd string 2nd fret. And a G. I play the G with uh, 4 fingers. And the whole, the whole intro is built around this shape. So you have a G is an index finger, fifth string, second fret, middle finger, sixth string, third fret. And then I go ahead and play with um, both my ring finger and pinky finger on the third fret of the second and first string. So it looks like that. So open chord wise, you're good there. Now let's talk about the rhythm. The, I'm going to show you a couple different strum patterns you can use. This is the first one, just a down, down, up, down, down, up. Now there's a little bit of space in between the two down strums. You have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. C, so you think you can D. Heaven from a minor. Skies from G. Can you tell a green D? A cold steel C. A smile from an A minor. Do you think you can G? And that can get you all the way through the entire song and sound perfectly fine. Play along with the record and it sounds great. Uh, the second uh, strum pattern I want to show you is we're going to add an up strum in, and we're going to put that at the very end of the count. So instead of a uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, we're going to add a, an up strum on the last and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Sounds like this. subtle but it makes a big difference and when you use these up strums in this pattern especially this is a little helpful hint they're really 
just hitting the first three strings. Don't worry about playing all of them. So you'll probably find this helpful. There is a pattern for the chords, and I don't know why my brain gets them kind of mixed up a little bit, but the pattern is C, D, A minor, G, and then D, C, A minor, G. The A minor and the G always follow each other. He just flips the C and the D for the first part of the ver verse, and then he flips it to D and C for the second part of the verse. So I don't know if that will help you guys. I get hung up there for some reason, um, but that has helped folks that I've worked with get through the song. Uh, faster with that little pattern trick and then to uh, check out the intro for an uh, amazing intro to this song click on the card above and you can check out that part um, that full lesson on the intro and put those two together add in these uh, open chords these pattern tricks and a couple of these easier strum patterns and you'll have a really good tune to play and hang out and I look forward to playing this song now I've always kind of like been intimidated by it but now it's one of my go-tos and people really like it. So hope you guys like that lesson. I'll see you guys for the next one.